What are you waiting for? A full house. You want to really make the spectacle a big one, do you? What's the quota? At least a dozen heads. Will there be a full dress parade with the drum and bugle call playing the national anthem? Or will you force little black children to watch so they always remember what happened to bad niggas and grow up to be nothing but good ones? Is that the example you're setting? You're all the masters at the greatest trick of a civilized race. How to make savagery and rape and cruelty respectable. Everything here is according to the law. As long as you have that law to hide behind, you'll use it to destroy the minds and bodies of an entire race of people. And it's all legal. And when the time comes when you can't use that law any longer, you'll throw it away and get a new one. You might change the sound and the look and the words, but it will still be the same old thing. And we'll be the ones who have to pay the price for your barbarity. But when on God's earth, Will you do the right thing because it's the right thing and not because the wrong doesn't work any longer? You blasphemy against God and his holy word. You use the laws of man and nature to commit genocide. Servants, be obedient to your master. Indeed. All men are created equal, indeed. Missouri compromise, indeed. But I am not a man and the others are not men. I don't have to admit to anything. There shouldn't even be a trial because there shouldn't be a such thing as human slavery. The logic for it doesn't exist. Not in this country, especially not in this country. By every act, an episode of your own history. You, among all men, should be the defenders to the death of man's liberty. If this was an English court and I stood condemned by the crown, that would have logic. Just though it would be, it would lie within a realm of British history as a fact to be faced, to be dealt with, to be expected, but not the sons and daughters of the revolution. Not the children of the men who died at Bali Forge. Not the country whose most precious holiday, the 4th of July, which is just two days away, is a celebration of freedom from tyranny. Give me liberty. Oh, give me death. Indeed.